What's going on everyone and welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Perseverance photo from Sal 419. Now, we've seen this particular butte or hill that's in this photo many times. Different distances, different angles, and I always found that that hill or butte, whatever they want to call it, is actually artificial. I still maintain that. This time we're going to see it at a different angle, a little bit closer, and from a right angle. Now, is there any debris around this as well? Let me just jump right into this and we'll find out. All right, you can see here's the page from NASA. It's Mars Perseverance, a Sol 419, right nav camera. You can download it right here. Now, when you see this, and again, we've seen this many a times, and again, I maintain that this is not a butte at all. And you're gonna see that I was in fact right. Now, folks, you don't have to do much to this photo and there's a lot of crazy things in it. Very subtle, but they're there. You can see where they've hidden stuff or went over things that we should not see. Let's just get right into Photoshop. I'll show you this. All right, let's just jump right in this. I think you're gonna like this. This alone up here, folks, I'm gonna put whatever I show you right smack dab in the middle of the screen. This right here alone, right smack dab in the middle right here. You can see what something looks like some kind of weird cable or even if it's organics, folks, Neither one of these should exist. In other words, nothing intelligently made nor organic. Because think about it, according to NASA, nothing's existed on this planet. Well, they don't even believe there's any plant life. So let's say this is a petrified root from a plant. Okay, it wouldn't matter. Where all the dust storms, the dirt, the, it would just be dust itself by now, right? Yeah. Now, many of the things you're gonna see in here, it's gonna have you scratching your head and you're gonna be saying, okay, clearly this is not natural. Some of you may be on the fence, I don't know. Let's just get into this. All right, so let's enhance this. We'll go black and white at first, a little bit of shopping, and we're gonna have a look at these objects. Now I did mock them off with arrows and some boxes, so make it easier for you to see. Let's jump into it. Okay, this on the bottom right here, almost looks like small pipes and stuff like this in the corner. See these right here? I find those alone compelling. Something that looks like pipes or something artificial, the little object right here on the left hand side of that right here almost at the end of the screen right there what is that notice the blur over these other little pieces. you can see whatever it is that's white right here you can see like two straight pieces coming off to the left going right into blur to the right hand side of it you can see something right here there's like a little angle 90 degree angle and you can see it's being blurred out as well question is why do they leave in some things and some things they do not well this may be done by ai and it may not be perfected right lower bottom right here. Look how this is. Check that out. Original. And you can see the stuff in the blur. This right here. Looks like a couple of triangles. This one here at the top stretched out and this one here not so stretched out. But look at the blurring and the stuff they put in here. I promise you there's a lot more here just in this one little area. Um, if only they didn't have the blur there, right? Check this out. What is this object right here? If you tilt your head slightly to the right, what is that object? And this little block just down from the right of it, what does it look like in the original? There you go. Look at the designs in here. It looks like these almost oval docking designs right there. See it? All right, move it to the right. Folks, look at the mess, what looks like mechanical parts in this one area. Keep in mind this dark gray all over this is to hide what's really there. You can see straight pieces, 90 degree angles. You can see all kinds of stuff sitting right there, okay? This arrow, check this out. This is what I was talking about earlier. That looks like some kind of weird cord or something intelligently made. Is it? Let's suppose for a moment I'm completely wrong and this is organic. Okay, we'll go with that. Although I see design in it, okay? But let's just call it organic. None of that should exist. According to NASA, nothing lived, if there was life on, on this planet, millions of years ago. So what could it be? It's either or, right? This arrow at the top, look at this area just below it. You can see this curvature of this piece right here. Pretty interesting. 
slide it over to the left. Folks, check this thing out. It looks like this ring. You can see the fuzz in the back side of it. Well, some kind of piece that's shaped kind of oddly, right? This right above, you can see what looks like this rectangular piece. Right above it has this round circle inside it. Folks, all you can do is stop and look at this photo really well. And there's so much in here to see. It's just crazy just how much is in here. Now, folks, let's go to the top. And we're going to see if there's anything in this butte. This piece alone is interesting because I'm not sure it's in between these whiter pieces, these vertical pieces. I'm not sure if that's a blur or something else, like it's a body of something, right? Look at the side right here of this mountain. Notice there's shapes inside here, folks. Blur, everything taken out of it. Let's have a real good close look at this thing. Let's go ahead and do a full enhancement. Folks, what is this on this mountain? Or is it a mountain at all? Now, let me show you a couple other things here. I'm going to put this area right here smack dab in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original. These items are there, folks. They're there. A lot more cleaned up, brightened up. Notice how a lot of this has blur around it. They don't want you to see a lot of what's in here. Again, I'm going to go back and forth, look at the shapes that are coming out, and then look at the original. They're all there. Anything that had like a little bit of a white signature, all I do is went over it with a dodge tool and it brightened it right up. These items are in fact there. Bring them out. Now here's my question. Is this a machine? Is it a craft? Is it a structure? Which I don't think would be a structure. It wouldn't have all these pots on it. So either it's a craft or what they're not doing is they're not showing you what's over this. So in other words, I've said this before, how do we know this is not a structure and it's much higher than this and they just simply cut it off and put it this short to make it look like it's some kind of butte and this is actually a junk pile. I don't see things like all tumbled around. I see things that look organized. They don't look like they've been thrown around and thrashed around. They look like they have some organization, meaning it's, it's like organized. It's in place where it should be. So the question is again, machine, craft, or structure? But I think this may be some kind of craft. Pure speculation here, folks, but look at this. Just to the left on the back side of this thing, right here upon this hill. Look at the actual blurring rectangular blurring to really take out what's really here. You can bring out some of the white pieces. Lower left, right there, just under that blur. Watch this. It's still, the white is peeking out. All we do is use the dodge tool and whatever's white will pop out. And again, these items, I'll put them smack dab in the middle of the screen. You can see these pretty well. Let's go into the colored version. Right there. Let me back out. To me, without a doubt, this is a debris field. Now, I don't know if this is just a bunch of junk and it just happens to look the way it does, but there's so much in here, folks. Again, these pieces laying on the ground. It's junk absolutely everywhere. Check this piece out. I've said this before. Notice how this item here, half of it is showing on the left, and you can see the shape of it's going into the blur the blur is simply overlaid over the top of it. We're only seeing a small piece of that. This is what I'm getting at. If they block half of it, you will not be wise as to what this stuff is. Now, we still don't know what it is. We can only purely speculate. But just these objects alone on the ground, I don't even have to go to the butte. And I can tell that this stuff is intelligently made. You can see they're not just simple rocks. Most of this, what you see here, is parts, junk, stuff that's been thrashed around, torn apart. Call it what you will. This is a field of ruins. That's all there is to it. Let me back out a little bit, folks. Check that out. I'm going to let you guys see this here one last time. Pause it right here. I'm going to drop it down. Lower left corner, right there. And right here. I'll give you the overall right here. Pause it right here, folks. Have a good look. I'm going to show you the color version too. Pause it right here. Have a look. 
And there you go. Folks, to me, we're looking at another debris field. As I said, we've seen this, this butte, this mountain in other photos, and I've done a video about the same uh, hill or butte, whatever they want to call it. We've done this already. To the right of it looked like a debris field. Right behind it or in front of it, depending on how you want to look at it, closest to the camera, more debris. We're actually closer, coming up the hill next to it, and we can still see debris everywhere. What's that tell you? So clearly this is not all natural. This is, again, I'm not sure if this is a machine, a vehicle of some sort, a craft, or a structure. Which one do you think it is, folks? Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, got more crazy stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.